Hey family, this is Sister Truth Seeker getting on here for another seasoned Christian review of the show Mary Mary, season three, episode number one today. So you guys uh definitely missed you guys. Ready to hear it? Here it go. Uh the Marys actually took a break. Uh, this season, Erica worked on her solo career, uh, as we saw at the end of the last season that she was working on. Uh, there was a brief recap of the Marys uh, <laughs> barking at Mitch and Mitch firing back. Poor little Mitch. Poor little Tink Tink. You know, but he is standing up for himself now, I see. You know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I mean, a person can only take so much. Uh, Tina said that she uh, finally took a break and and it, how, how she found out Teddy had cheated on her and and asked him you know didn't he love her or was he not attracted to her anymore and I'm just kind of like um how about you try being at home like a wife is supposed to you know un unless God sent you out on a missionary trip or something if if you're a wife, you're not supposed to be away from your home for that long. You know, the Bible specifically says not to deprive one another, uh, but for a, an agreed season, like during times for prayer, uh, that the enemy not come and try to tempt the other person because you're depriving one another of the re relations of, of husband and wife time. And so, you know, that's word now don't don't write me don't talk no mess to me be in my inbox and in my stuff talking about no that is the word of god i didn't put it there you know she dipping in and out from this season to the next gone you know that's the word some of y'all you ready to pounce talking about teddy was wrong you know and how just awful of a person he was you know and how he did her so wrong yes he was wrong but she had her part to blame for not making herself accessible to her own husband you know intimately and you know he only see her a few times out of the year and the next time he see her she dropping off a litter of kids then she back out on the road again you know meanwhile he's at home taking care of the kids operating as a single parent married but lonely you know i'm not covering for him but i'm just saying you know she's not totally scot-free of bearing all of the responsibility here you know and it will happen again you know god forbid i pray it don't but how can you expect it not to you know because the reason why he did it is still in play she put a bandage on a leak you know, but as soon as she gets back out there on the road, it's going to get worse because the problem is still not resolved. You know, come home. See about your marriage and your kids, girl, and stay home. You know, Erica, she's already doing her solo thing. So I don't see what the issue would be, you know, for her to just, Tina, to just come and work from home. You know, uh, try something else, you know take care of your marriage and your kids uh, you know so in the next scene I see that uh, the Marys and Mitch they talk about how bad Mitch was as a manager you know they're sitting there just bashing poor little Mitch you know basically and Tina said that they were tired of not speaking and holding their feelings you know in they were tired of doing that and acting like there's nothing wrong and Mitch just turned into a sister on them you know he he said he said saying all that all they do is tell how they feel so he's like when was the feelings ever turned down I mean because I missed that episode and truthfully I agree with Mitch you know Tina went off telling him he could be fired right now you know for talking to her reckless at the mouth but I feel like a person like I said can only take so much you know of abuse there is such thing as verbal abuse and Tina likes to bark off then she comes back and later apologizes or act like everything is all good you know somebody wrote in my my box uh, last season and said they believe she was bipolar I don't know you know I'm not her psychologist or nothing but um, I just know that 
not everyone is made that way that you can do that to them you know and just it it, it coast away and it be okay as long as we do it your way right <laughs> no um bottom line is don't dish it if you can't take it you know and the other line is why are you dishing so much of that you know negativity if you're representing god supposedly um there is a way to speak and get your point out to people without yelling and talking to them crazy tina <laughs> and p and tina-esque people um tina said she was going to forgive her husband in another scene which was good i mean after all <laughs> All season long, you know, they were hyping this thing up, you know, like she was going to leave them, you know, just to get the ratings boosted, I'm sure. You know, I mean, on the other hand, where is she going to go? And what is she going to do with all of those sack of kids? What, what, who's going to take care of all those kids? You know, no, she would have to come off the road and stay home and take care of them herself. That's why she so quick to reconcile, you know. Uh, but anyway, the next scene, the Marys carry a red carpet event. Um, they they cancel the red carpet event, you know, uh, like divas and everything. And Mitch was very upset. And rightly so, as the manager. You know, I could tell Mitch wanted to go off, but he kind of knew better because the Marys' husbands were there. Because I know he would have went in because any other time, Mitch will, you know, go back off on him. Um, but anyway, the next scene, the Marys were upset at Goo this time. You know, they wanted her to dress them, but Goo was, you know, tending to her own clients called Intrigue, who she said that they went from gospel to country. I was just kind of confused, wasn't really sure how that works, uh, gospel, uh, to country. I may have to Google that or something and see what, what that'd be like. Um, you know, I, I was just feeling some kind of a way looking at the Marys, you know, kind of like with that look that you just give, like, y'all don't know how to dress yourself in how many years y'all been doing this? Y'all grown women. You don't know how to dress yourself. <laughs> you know, this woman is at a paying gig. You know, she has to pay her bills. So she can't be there, you know, your fairy clothing godmother to button up your and zip up your whatevers, <laughs> you know, whenever. So, uh, go goo, you know, handle your business, girl. Um, I did notice uh, that Tina did the Bopamit sign when she was in the scene confronting Mitch on the couch and she was in that private time talking to the camera. She did the Bopamit sign, uh, the devil satanic hand gesture uh, at the dinner. And this, I also saw at the dinner table uh, when she was saying, uh, Erica did it, actually, the Baphomet sign, too, at the dinner table. Uh, when she was saying, talking about the, the people who are in the inner circle when Mitch was going off, saying he felt like he was out of the loop, you know, that, that he was out the circle. And uh, Erica put up the satanic, uh, I don't want to do it, uh, sign. They call it the Texas horns, but it's really the satanic sign hand gesture they didn't gave they sold over to the devil for fame i already told y'all that i'll put the information uh on the documentary link proof uh how they did a witchcraft curse on one on a live show that they did with ll cool j and um you know i'm really talking to you guys uh like this is a regular review and everything you know not putting so much of that in there but it's a major factor. It's very serious. You know, I'm, I'm just really done with this right now. I'm over it because it's like, you know, these people get before you talking about singing some gospel, you know, and you just believe them, you know, to be just these sold out Christians. You know, you don't even check their fruit, you know, uh, to make sure these people are saved. You know, look at these women's fruit. Look how they treat people. They don't even try you know to treat people better it's like and tina is the worst of them erica uh, is a you know a tad erica tells mitch in a clip that he knew whom they were signing up with or, and going to have to deal with why did he take the job if he knew he couldn't handle them because he knew who they were working in the neck <laughs> you know you know understand this 
there are no Christian divas. You cannot be both at the same time. You're going to have to choose. I fancied myself a diva, an old Jezebel, you know, myself years ago until the Lord shut all of that down real quick, you know, and many are still trying to play the role that they need to stop. You know, you need to choose who this day you're going to serve. You know, yes, it's hard some days. We have to put this flesh down daily, beloveds. At least try, you know, ask the Lord to help you because people are watching us and we are responsible, okay? So with that being said, I lift you all up in prayer. Please do the same for me. I love you all with the love of the Lord. I will talk with you guys soon. Your sister, Truth Seeker.